Here we have a Welsh dresser that we purchased from eBay. We are going to paint it in Annie Sloan paint and distress it with the shabby sheet look. Okay, so to start with, we have, um, we've separated the top part from the bottom part and we're going to paint the um, top part of the dresser. Now what I've done is I've gone over it with some sugar soap um, just to wash and sort of clean it down. And um, once that's dry, I am going to start with the Annie Sloan paint. Now I am going to use the same paint as before, which is this one here in the original, as I want um, all of the pieces to match that are going to be um, in my back room here. So I'm just going to start with that now. Right, so I'm just going to use um, a paintbrush and the um, Annie Sloan paint. Now I have actually got an Annie Sloan paintbrush here, um, but just by all means use the paintbrush that you've got. Um, so we've got no sanding, um, no preparation. The only preparation that I've done is give it a wash with the, um, the sugar soap. So what I'm going to do is just go straight over the top with the paint. Um, now it may well need two coats because it is quite dark wood. Um, but that's absolutely fine so that this paint does go quite a long way so i'm just going to go all over the piece now um, and then once that's dried and i will give that another coat over the top over the whole of the top part with one coat of the Annie Sloan paint so I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll give that um, another coat and that will cover the whole lot perfectly. And we've just given the top part here its second coat and that's covered plenty um, with two coats there so that's just drying now. Okay, now what we're doing is we're just taking the um, handles off this large unit here. Um, so we've got to take some bits out the front and bits out the back and do the same for the drawers. And um, we won't be using them again, um, so we're just taking them out, but we have got a hole um, where the others went. So we're going to start by doing that first, and then I'm going to clean it down with sugar soap. Right, so we're just in the middle now of painting the bottom part um, of the Welsh dresser. Um, this has had one coat and um, this here is obviously what it was like before that hasn't had a coat yet. Um, I've also done this part and this part here. So that's had one coat. So I'm just going to give that another coat now, um, but I think I'm going to run out of paint. So I might have to go and get another um, tub of paint in order to finish it off. So I'm just going to do another coat now. Hi there guys, it's Wednesday morning and we're just popping over to get some more paint. Um, I've almost finished painting the um, Welsh dresser, but I have run out rather annoyingly on um, just a couple of sides of it. So um, I just need to do it a little bit more. I've got the top part there, that's all finished. That's ready to um, finish distressing um, and waxing, but um, obviously I can't go any further until I finish painting. So we're just going to pop out now to um, Much Loved and get another um, lot of the paint. Um, once I've got that, um, we're going to nip into the range because I need to pick some bits up for Chloe. Okie doke, so that's that part finished. That's just going to dry now. And um, in a little while, I will um, sand it and start and just dress it. Poppy! Hello. What's your tail? What's your tail?
Right, so this is the top part of the dresser and what I've done is distressed all of it with the sander, so gone through the whole of the dresser and I've also decoupaged on this flower design and um, that's from a napkin. So I've done it that side and that side as well. And now what I'm going to do is to go over the whole of the dresser with this, let me just grab it, this Annie Sloan chalk paint wax. Okay, so I'm just going to go over it all now with a, with a cloth. Right, so now that's done, I'm going to put on these um, furniture knobs. These came from B&M and I'll just check, they were 4 99 for four, so I'm just going to put those on as well. And here we are, it is finally finished. So this is the completed Welsh dresser. And as you can see at the top there, I have decoupaged the top corners with napkins. I did wonder about putting something like um, a moulding maybe on the top, um, but I thought the napkins went quite nice. So I've distressed the top part there and then also down to the bottom. That's been distressed. I have painted inside as well and sanded it down. And um, I've changed the, uh, the knobs to these, which are really quite nice. And it's all been waxed. I did take the felt out from in the bottom. I think we're gonna put things like pencils and uh, things like that in there for the kids. And then there's obviously loads of storage in the bottom as well. So that's it, finally finished. And I'm very grateful that it's finished because it's been hanging around for far too long. I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.